God's awesome. All the time. Mm. Amen. Uh, let's see here. Where are we going to go? Let's, get, let's go back to Psalm 40 for a minute. Psalm 40. I'm scared to move now. Remember, if you can hear it, miss it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thought, brother. That's a real good thought. As you can hear it, it missed you. Praise God. God is so awesome. Go to, turn to Psalm 40 and also turn to Psalm 100. Psalm 40 and Psalm 100, they're, they're pretty close together, so you can't miss it. You're in the same book. <laughs> That's right, 60 apart. God is so much in control. I, 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 I love him and I thank him for all that he does for us. And every time we think he's done about, done about done top what he's done, he does something else that tops that. Amen? Mm -hmm. Much like our, our God that can top himself. Oh, yeah. Amen. All the time. Amen. Psalm 40 is the first three verses for, from, from today. I waited patiently for the Lord and he inclined his ear unto me and heard my cry. He brought me up out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock and established my goings. And he has put a new song in my mouth, even praise unto our God. Many shall see it and fear, and shall trust the Lord. Now Psalm 100, one of my favorite, favorite scriptures, because it puts everybody in it. Amen? Yeah. Not everybody can sing like everybody can. Have you seen some people that really sing like mockingbirds, and some sing like they've been bit by a mockingbird? Okay. Well, this says make a joyful noise. Didn't say you had to sing with skills, make a joyful noise. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with what? Thanksgiving. Into his courts with? Praise. Be thankful unto him and what? Bless his name. Bless his name for the Lord he is? Good. And his, that was weak. And the Lord is? Good. There you go. And his truth endures to what? All generations. generations. I think we got a little bit of all generations in here tonight. Amen. God is so good. Father, we love you, Lord. We praise your name. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. God, we thank you for this night. We know, God, that you're alive and well. God, you're on the throne, Father. And Lord, you have not one time relinquished control. And Satan would like us to believe that, but you have never relinquished control, Father. And I thank you for that, Lord. And Father, I ask you right now, Lord, to help us, God, to give control of our lives to you, Lord. Because when you're in control, awesome things happen. In the name of Jesus, we pray the church said. Amen. 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 Now, now, God knows that we're all prone, we're all of us. There's not one of us in here that cannot at times be prone to despair. We can get the mother grubs. Anybody ever got the mother grubs? Amen. And the mother grubs, when they get extended, can become depression, and depression can become defeat. And so, so God knows that, so God gives us a remedy, and that is praise. Praise is awesome. God wants us to keep a mindset of praise. He wants us to live a lifestyle of praise. He wants us to let praise continue. That's what the psalmist said. His praise continuously will be on my lips. Because if you've got praise, it's kind of hard. If you're talking praise, it's kind of hard to talk negative. Amen? Amen. If you're talking good to your spouse or good to your children, it's kind of hard to throw in some bad things if you're talking about how good it is. Amen? Talking good about your job, you can automatically find things you know, uh, uh, to, to like about it instead of always talking negative about things. So, so God wants us to keep that... That, that mindset. The mindset of praise is first, worship. Worship is inward for who he is. And praise is outward for what he's done. And thanksgiving is upward for what he's done for us personally. Amen. So, so God wants us to have this type of mindset where we have his praise continually on our lips. This morning we talked about it. I waited patiently for the Lord. He kind of to me and heard my cry. And then you see here he's put a new song in my mouth. Even, or here it is, here's that new song. Praise unto our God. That's the new song. Praise unto our God. If you look at it from the beginning, he's in a horrible pit, he's in that slimy pit. I'm pretty sure that it was not praise on his lips. 
I'm pretty sure that he was downcast, downtrodden. His soul was hurting within him. It was depression time. And God delivered him. And when God delivered him, God put a praise on his mouth. And he said, I'm going to continually keep that praise in him. You see, whenever David let go of that continual praise, things got bad. I can tell you, as long as you keep a continual praise on your lips, doesn't mean good things are all going to always happen. But it'll help your outlook that when you see things, no matter how bad it is, you'll find good out of it. I asked somebody one day, said, told me one day, I couldn't believe it. He said, you're just too positive. I said, I'm too positive? He said, yeah, you're just too positive. You can come on a wreck and, and people turn all upside down to this. You can find something good about it. Amen. And I said, really? He said, yeah. I said, isn't that called faith? I mean, if they didn't get killed, thank God they didn't get killed. They got turned upside down, but they didn't get killed. Or, you know, uh, it's like that one guy uh, 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 wrecked, his, uh, uh, wrecked his Mercedes. And, 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 and he looked over here, and his arm was cut off. And they looked and said, can we help you? And I said, yeah. And he started crying, oh, help, help, help. He said, no, I'm sorry you lost your arm. He said, no, my Rolex fell off. <laughs> Talk about somebody having a bad, <laughs> you know, a, a, a bad sense of things. So watch this now, watch so here's what we're going to do. We're going to, we're going to talk about just for a minute. Not keep you long. There's, there's seven words for praise in the Bible. Did you know that? Matter of fact, seven words in the Hebrew for praise. We're going to talk about those seven words. Then we'll go back to Psalm 40 and talk a little bit about praise. First word for praise is tada or ta ta. Da da. Okay, it's the Hebrew. This it, this is the word that means thanks. Thank you, God. That's praise. Thank you, God. What kind of praise? That's an awesome praise. Thank you, God. It's an offering of praise, even a sacrifice of thanksgiving unto God. You're thanking God for his sovereignty, his power, his might, and that he knows that, that even though things might not look good on the outside, you're still going to praise him no matter what. Amen. I mean, how many times have you thanked him, even in the bad times? How many times? I have to think about that thing. I, I, I have to remind myself when things are not going good, still stop and thank God because it could be a whole lot worse. Amen? Number two is Yod. This is my favorite one. Yod me in the Hebrew means hand. Amen. So Yod of praise means to lift your hands. <coughs> and so, so literally, it's exactly what it means. Lift your hands in praise and reverence and worship. It's an outward expression of love towards God. I love you. My, my little grandbaby, Anna Lane, as soon as I came in today, she saw me and she said, Paul, Paul! And she went running. And the first thing she did was she put her hands up. Yada. She put her hands up and said, take me, Paul, Paul. Amen. How many times when you think about God and how powerful he is, you just run to him and say, take me, God. Take me, Father. Just take me. Pick me up. You know, she said, now once she got my arm, she thought I was going to do something her mama said she couldn't do. And once she found out I wasn't going to do what her mama said she couldn't do, she wouldn't get back down. I mean, but still, Paul, Paul, take me. Lift in your hands. Number three, Barack. Not Barack Obama, Barack. Barack means to bless or to be blessed. Number four, Shabbat. It means to shout. How many's ever shouted? Why don't y'all try that right now in the praise? Just shout. Hallelujah. Y'all yeah. doing good. Go ahead. Shout. <laughs> Amen. All right. Then there's Zamar. Zamar is a cool word because it means playing with an instrument, making music. This morning when those guys were up playing, everybody's up there playing. Sister Brenda up there throwing down that piano. Of course, my wife ain't got the piano behind there. She looked like she was playing. She wasn't playing. Sister Brenda was playing. And so just so why did everybody notice she weren't playing, she stopped every now and then did like this. <laughs> <laughs> you <use her> too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But that, that's playing with music. When, when, when you get up here and start playing music, especially if you see me close my eyes, I told you before, I'm worshiping. I'm mean, actually got my mind focused on God. I've got all y'all closed out. I just hear the melody and I'm, I'm just singing and praising unto God, even in my head. I just I just hear it. Amen. It's coming through my fingers. So look, so there's uh, <clears throat> Uh, Zamar. Then there's this. This right here 
The Bible says when the, when the, the voice of the archangel, the last trump of God shall sound, and the voice of the archangel shall, shall be, shall shout, all the world's going to hear it. And all the world's going to respond. They're going to come up. All those Christians are going to come up in the rapture. Now, we don't all speak the same language. But he's going to say something that everybody's going to understand. There's one word, one word, that's the same in every language. Just one. And the root word of it is halil. Halil literally means to make a show, rave, or boast. We take that word when we talk about God, halil, and we change it or add to it to hallelujah. Hallelujah is the same in every language. It means praise be the strong one. Wow. Make boast on the strong one. Hallelujah. I can imagine when that, when that, when that uh, rapture takes place, we're going to hear a very loud shout. Hallelujah! Oh, and every nation and tongue is going to hear the same thing at the same time, and we're gone. We're gone. Amen? And then finally, this one here is a little harder. Uh, tequila, not tequila. <laughs> tequila. Tequila is taking all these words together and it means to praise God in the song, to praise Him with your lips, to praise Him with your hands. It means just to all out give it all you got to God. And so these are the seven ways we can express praise unto God. So there's seven words for praise. Now, now why does God want us to praise? I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you five things right now. Five things. I want you to take the notes, write this down. There's five things that praise does. The Bible says in Psalm 40, when it delivered me out of that miry clay out of that pit, and I had that new song, praises unto God, the new song, praises unto God, that the people would see it, and then when the people saw it, then they would actually begin to worship God too. So there's something to that. Do you know that you're, look, do you know that when you, when you have more influence on people than you ever imagined? I want you to think about people, I, I, I think I told you this one time before, the average person influences about 10,000 people in their lifetime. 10,000. Think about it. 10,000 people in your life. Now you might, some of that's directly, some of that's indirectly, but 10,000 people. Maybe somebody walking along the street and seeing you on the front porch and you're just waving your hand unto God or, you, or they come by and they're having a flat and you reach out and you really help them and you help them get the car back on or whatever, but you influence all these people in, the, in, the, in Walmart. I had food line. Somebody sees the way you're at. Remember telling about the, 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 the man or the woman a uh, uh, woman that has this screaming kid in her, in her, in her car at, at food line, and she says, and she says, as she screams, she's screaming up now every hour, she says, calm down, Crystal, it'll be okay. Hold yourself together, Crystal. We're almost out of the store. Calm down, Crystal. We're just about through. Crystal, it's going to be okay. Crystal, please calm down. Just, just take a deep breath. Everything's going to be fine. And when she walked out the store, another lady walked through and said, that's impressive. I've never seen a mother talk like that to her child. Said, I know little Crystal here. She didn't change, but at least you felt better. She said, oh, that's not Crystal. I'm Crystal. <laughs> <laughs> I was telling myself, calm down. Keep calm. We're going to be out of the store in a little while. We're at Burger King today. And little Anna Lane, she thought when she got a paw paw, here it goes again, paw paw. And so I picked her up, and she thought I was going to take her and let her play in a little gym. And I said, Mama said, you can't play until you eat some more chicken. So she took chicken, and she tried to feed it to me. I said, that's not what Mama said. You got me. And so then she squeezes out my arms, and I'm not kidding. She just squeezed out my arms so much that she went out. My heart dropped. I grabbed her before she got too far away, and I watched everybody around me. Everybody's eyes got about that big around, including mine. We called her, and I finally said, Daddy, here, you take it. But again, listen to this now. Here it is. Five things. This is why God wants you to praise Him. Listen to this now. Even praise unto our God, many shall see it in fear and shall trust in the Lord. Number one, praise always 
reverences our Savior. It always does. If you look at Psalm 50, uh, 50 verse 23, whoever offered praise glorifies me, and to him that ordered order this conversation to write will I show the salvation of God. Psalm 145 and 10 says, All thy works shall praise thee, O Lord, and thy saints shall bless thee. Psalm 111 and 9 says, He sent redemption unto his people. He hath commanded his covenant forever. Holy and reverent is his name. Praise always points and reverences and always points to the Savior. It's important that we have praise on our lips. Number two, that's what Psalm 40 says. Number two, here's one of my favorites. Praise resists Satan. Did you know that? When you find yourself in a bind, you find yourself upset, you find yourself getting in a rough spot, you find the devil beating up on you, if you can find a way to praise, you'll find yourself getting out of that headlock. Amen. 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 You start praising him. First Samuel 16, 23 says, And it came to pass when the evil spirit from God was upon Saul that David took a harp and played with his hand. So Saul was refreshed and was well, and the evil spirit departed from him. <laughs> 1 Peter 5 and 8 says, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil is a roaring lion walking about, seeking whom he may devour, who resists steadfast in the faith, knowing the same afflictions are accomplished in your brother that are in the world. Psalm 22 and 3. But thou art holy, O thou that inhabits the praises of Israel. So first, it reverences the Savior. Points to Jesus. Number two, it helps us to resist Satan. Remember, tomorrow, when you get, or if you get home tonight and all of a sudden you get this phone call and you're thinking, I'm so excited, I'm ready to serve God, and you get this phone call and it's driving you crazy, or, or you get to work tomorrow and your favorite person that's supposed to drive you crazy is meeting you at the door. <laughs> what you do is you just start praising God. I have praised God under my lips so many times. I've even had people come up and try to start a fight, and I'm sitting there talking and say, you talking to yourself? And I'm talking to God. What are you doing? I'm praising him. He said, so why are you praising him? He so, said, because I'd rather praise him than fight you. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yeah. Praise God. Just praise him under your lips. I praise him all the time. Number three. Praise releases the spirit. Did you know that? You want God's spirit to come in on the scene? Praise him. Psalm 61, 8 says, So will I sing praise unto thy name forever, that I may daily perform my vows. Ephesians 5, 18 and 20 says, And be not drunk with wine, where is excess, but be filled with the Spirit. I, I did. I took this scripture right here one time, and uh, I named the name of that sermon, Let's Get Drunk. <laughs> 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 be not drunk with wine, where is excess, but be filled with the Spirit, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual psalms, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. Give thanks always for all things unto God and the Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Number four. Praise will refresh you. Are you feeling kind of wore out? Feeling kind of down? Praise him. So um, Isaiah 61 and 3 says, To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion and give them beauty for ashes, the little joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. <laughs> Psalm 30, 11, and 12 says, Thou hast turned me, turn, turn for me my mourning into dancing. Thou hast put off my sackcloth and girded me with gladness, to the end that glory may sing praise of thee and not be silent. O Lord my God, I will give thanks unto thee forever. Psalm 45 and 17, I will make thy name to be remembered in all generations. Therefore shall the people praise thee forever. And then finally, and then we're going to pray. Matter of fact, I want, sister, I want you to come up here. I want you to, I want you to be thanking us some good old praise music while, while we're getting ready to, after I do this last one. Praise reaches the sinner. <laughs> one of my favorite stories in the Bible is Paul and Silas in prison. The Bible says that at midnight, Acts 16, 25, and at midnight, Paul and Silas sang praises unto God. And the prisoners heard them. That word heard means to hear with the expectation. Those prisoners never heard people praising God that had been beat like Paul and Silas had. They heard people, heard people cuss God but never praise Him. And so that, they're here with the expectation of what's going to happen. And the Bible says that God sent an earthquake and shook that prison so hard it opened all the doors. Can you imagine what kind of earthquake that was? 
And then verse 30 says, that, and, and then the, the guard himself, the guard went to kill himself because his own door was open. So the guard was going to kill himself. He'd rather kill himself than, than, than suffer at the hands of the soldiers because his reward would have been death. And he tells them, don't do this. And he, brought, he said, don't do that. He says, well, don't, be, don't hurt yourself because everybody's still here. And then in verse 30 says, he brought them out and said, sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved in thy house. And then Psalm 40, and we end it where I started. He has put a new song in my mouth. Even praise unto our God. Many shall see it in fear and shall trust in the Lord. The people in my life over the years that have had the most impact on me and even to this day, the people that have the most impact on me are the people that let praise lead the way, not complaining. Let praise lead the way. When they find hard things going against them, they start out by praising God. That They always get my attention. Every now and then I forget to start out by praising God. I know y'all don't, but I do. When the rough times are coming, sometimes I want to say, Why? Lord, why do you let this happen? But then somebody comes up and starts praising God and reminds me, Praise Him. Just praise Him. Praise Him. I remember uh, I had a pastor one time. He had a little girl. She was about... Uh, Emmy's age and just about every Sunday she wanted to get up and sing a song. You know what she sang every Sunday? Every Sunday. Y'all say every. Yeah. <laughs> every Sunday. And y'all know this song was to sing it with me. Every Sunday for about a year she sang this song. I reckon the Lord was trying to get it in our heads. Here it is. Praise Him Praise Him, praise Him in the morning, praise Him in the noontime. Praise Him, praise Him, praise Him when the sun goes down. Next week, praise Him, praise Him, praise Him in the morning, praise Him in the noontime. Praise Him, praise Him. Thank you. 
and children go, well, it's Paul. I don't feel anything. I don't walk in that room, even if they're trying to get something from me. And they go, Paul, Paul! Guess what? My heart just starts. Uh, amen. amen. And I had a whole bunch of them in Burger King trying to get Smurfs. They were going, Paul, Paul! <laughs> That's right. They all got a Smurfing today, too. <laughs> amen. But you know what? Just done something. Paul, Paul! I heard, I heard just not the other day, Dylan come and he was holding me, hold my hand, and he just loved on me and he said, You're the best Paul Paul in the world. And I said, That's awesome, son. What you want? <laughs> <laughs> and then he said, Paul Paul, I just love you. And in Elizabeth Day, she said, I love you, Paul Paul. You know, hey, and Aunt Lane just goes, Paul Paul, deliver me from mama and daddy. <laughs> 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 but every time, it doesn't matter what they were doing. When they put those hands up and they hold a ball ball. Oh, wow. Amen. Yeah, I mean, it's just awesome. So now, here's what I want you to do. If it does it to me, can you imagine what it does to our Father? Yes. We'll put our hands up yes. and glorify His name. Amen. Now, sister, go ahead and do it again. And look, look, I want you to do it. I want you to, I want you to praise Him. I want you to praise Him. Move around if you want to. Let's praise Him.
And I just start walking around and praising him. Mm -hmm. And I walk around, and I walk around, and I walk around, and I just walk around. And you know what? By the time I get to walk around, not only am I getting out, <laughs> I feel the presence of God. Amen. God wants to do so much for us. Trust Him. Amen. Next Sunday night, we got the youth handle the service. The next week is Easter. Don't forget Easter. Something special is going to happen Easter. And again, we're doing something entirely different. We've done something different for the last three or four years. This is going to be entirely different too. Don't be surprised at what you might see. And it was going to be good. And men, if you're interested in helping out, come see me or come see Marina. Uh, and and uh, we're going to see, what, let's see what's going to happen. Like I said, it's going to be different. And you know, it's going to be different all the way up to the very end. So, so just come on. And I've already got my wife trying to figure out how to get done what I'm wanting to get done with, with, with the computer. I've been trying to get it done. I can't get it done, but she's better than I am with it. So maybe she can get it done. But, but, but something good is going to happen at Easter. And next week, please, we're going to talk about David and Jonathan and the covenant relationship and how that relates to Easter. Right? And then that Sunday after Easter, I can't tell you what it's going to be, but it's going to blow you away. All right? It's going to be awesome. Amen? Brother Steve, you dismiss us in prayer, please. Father God, we just praise you, Lord. And Lord, we just thank you for just blessing us so much, Lord. We thank you for your presence in this place. Lord, we thank you for what you do for us every day. And Lord, let us share these.